What is happening, people? It is Brian Alls with NeverState.com, and welcome to this week's training video. Now, I am inside with the doors closed and everything. Uh, number one, because it is pretty darn cold outside, and number two, it is very, very windy, so there's no way that you'd be able to hear me. Oh, you just get a bunch of distortion and stuff. It'd be terrible. But on my last training video, remember that I was dealing with an attack from my Lyme disease where I had some Lyme arthritis and uh, it had my knee hurting really, really bad. So I have had one other leg day, uh, like squat day, aside from that where I was just trying to feel things out. Not much heavier than 225, just trying to move some weight around to see how it would feel. I did have a pretty good deadlift day where I worked up to a 600 pound pause deadlift uh, and it really wasn't that bad. So I thought today what I would do is try to throw a decent amount of weight on my back and just kind of work up on the pause squat. Now, in full disclosure, a couple things about this workout. Number one, it was actually supposed to be a bench workout. However, yesterday, I was working on log cabin and I dropped my framing chisel, my two inch timber framing chisel, which is super, super sharp. And when I did, it slipped through my fingers and as you can see, I cut my thumb and my finger pretty good. Now, uh, I would be benching, but every time that I go to squeeze something, it kind of reopens those wounds. It doesn't really affect my grip at all, it just, uh, I'm trying to give it a day so that those things will close so that they'll hopefully heal a little bit faster. And then secondly, today's leg day is gonna be very, very static, uh, simply because I'm still being very tentative on my Achilles tendon. It's still very, very sore and tender, even to the touch, like the gentlest touch hurts pretty bad. So I'm gonna go see a specialist about that very, very soon, uh, just see what's going on there. And then of course, still trying to respect the knee, just with everything that's been through. I am gonna push on weight, but uh, a lot of pounding and impact I don't think would be very smart. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now, inevitably people always want to know why I do pause reps because there are so many people out there that will tell you that pause reps suck. There is absolutely nothing good about pausing your rep. It doesn't help whatsoever. And there's a lot of people who do pause reps for a lot of other reasons. The reason why I personally do pause reps is because it perfects my technique. It perfects kind of my form in that position because to be honest with you, if you look at something like a pause deadlift, there's no way that I can pause anything of substantial weight out over top in front of my foot, if my balance is off, if my weight is off, if that bar is out of position, I'm not gonna be able to stop it, hold it, and then restart it and complete the rep. There's absolutely no way. If your body is out of position, you will find out where, and pause reps are a great way to do that. Now, I've been doing that a little bit with the deadlift, but to be honest with you, I've always been kind of good at the pause deadlift. The pause squat is a little bit more challenging for me. However, right now I am having a lot of problems with my squat, and a lot of it has to do with bracing and positioning and just a lot of, it's just, it's just ugly right now. So what I thought I'd do is move to the pause, try to move up a little bit of weight so that I have to do things correctly in hopes that if there are some weak points that are very, very glaring, that I can just point them out quickly and hopefully apply some sort of fix. Also, I know there's gonna be a lot of you out there asking why I'm using the duffalo bar. And right off the bat, guys, I need to let you know the duffalo bar weighs 55 pounds, which is why the gym math might not be adding up quite as well in your head as it normally does. Now, also, the duffalo bar allows a little bit more play in the shoulders. It's particularly cold today. I'm a little bit beat up from doing the log cabin yesterday, so I don't want to get as tight as I possibly can, or at least take the time to warm up to do so. So the duffalo bar, with its curve, allows me to kind of stick my shoulders in less of a tight position. Also, it gives you a little bit of wobble, especially when you're kind of reversing the motion out of the hole. So if I'm showing some sort of unstableness down when I'm starting to reverse the motion, then hopefully the bar is gonna give me a little bit of feedback on that, but those are definitely reasons why I'm using it. All right, so top set ended up at 565, which is the heaviest thing I've had on my back in a really, really long time, so that's okay. Um, the, I've actually done 550 for a set of 15 before though. So when I put that in perspective, it makes me feel very, very weak and not near where I used to be, but it's come back, people, it's come back quickly, so just gonna keep working. Now drop back for volume, which ended up being four sets of eight reps at 415 pounds, which ended up being a lot tougher than I actually expected it to. The weight did not feel bad at all, it's just that my legs uh, are a little bit more tired than I think so. And then I moved on to some assistant stuff, which I was going at the top of every minute for 10 minutes, uh, except I split it up. So my even, or my odd minutes, I was doing 20 seconds of Bulgarian split squats on my right leg, 20 seconds of Bulgarian split squats on my left leg, and I took that 20 seconds remaining of the minute to rest on all the even minutes 
uh, I did 30 seconds of good mornings. Now I kept the weight light on all this and just tried to keep moving explosively and keep my form good and that ended up being a really, really good 10 minutes. And then I just finished up with some glute ham raises and some more ab stuff. So overall, it was not a terrible day. I'm looking forward to some upper body stuff later in the week, hopefully once this heals. But uh, so far that is a 600 pause deadlift as well as a 565 pause squat which again is the heaviest thing that I've had on my back in quite a while. So I am happy about that. Not as high as I thought I was gonna to get today, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know what, man, it's there, so I'm just gonna take whatever is there. I'm gonna be happy about it. So I hope all of your training is going well out there. I hope you guys are still good as far as having gyms and everything else going on. Uh, I did realize that there is no YouTube DM. Thank you guys in the comment section for letting me know that. Uh, so the little brand and I are both trying to come up with some sort of way that we can get out the winners, their stuff without a bunch of people claiming that they're winners. So if you guys have suggestions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Hopefully I'll be coming at you guys later in the week, either with another bushcraft video with some more log cabin. Like I said, I was working on it yesterday. So I did set a couple logs. Uh, or maybe some more training stuff. We will see, but I thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you guys for all the support and just everything that you guys do to help the channel. You guys let me live my dream and it's awesome. And it wouldn't be possible without each and every single one of you. So I just thank you guys. I will catch up with you later until I do go out to something amazing in my life. Keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other, please. Nice, nice is good. I'll see you then.